What's going on guys? Today we're taking a look at a motherboard from Gigabyte. It is their Z77X UD4H and if you can guess by the name it is a Z77 motherboard. It's gonna have all the features you would expect from a Gigabyte motherboard. So let's just go ahead and check it out. The Z77X UD4H comes at Gigabyte's typical packaging. It's full with information all about, you know, what's on the motherboard, all the features. On the front, it does list some of the main features, which is the 3D power, all digital engine. Of course, their 3D dual UEFI BIOS, ultra durable 4, and some of the other stuff. On the back, you'll see even a ton more information. Pretty much everything you're going to need to know if you're at the store and you want to buy this motherboard, you're going to find it all right here on the packaging. But let's just go ahead and get right inside here. So open it all up inside. You're going to find, let's see all our accessories here, IO shield. You have one, two bags of SATA cables and they are black SATA cables. You have your SLI connector. You have your user's manual that comes with, CD's kind of falling out here, but it does come with your driver and utility CD as well, um, right there. And you do have your multilingual installation guidebook. And that is basically about it for accessories. Let's just, oh, there is a little sticker back here if I can get it. Uh, you do have a little gigabyte case sticker right there, but, and then, our motherboard is of course under there, but we're going to get to that in just one second. Now we're taking a look at the motherboard here and you can see that Gigabyte has gone with a pretty unique color scheme here. We have an all black PCB and a lot of companies claim a black PCB and it looks kind of not black at all. This is 100% black. It looks really, really great. Um, you really have to see it in person. I'm guessing this video isn't going to do it that much justice, but it looks really, really great. Um, with the black PCB, you have black silver, blue, and gray accents, and they look really great. Um, it's a really nice, just solid looking design. Starting at the CPU socket, of course, it is centrally, centrally located right here on the board. Um, you do have your power delivery components right here, and they are covered by two large heat sinks. Of course, it says ultra dur durable right there. And they have this silver accent with uh, blue right here, which actually looks pretty cool. Um, you do have your 8-pin CPU power and your CPU 4-pin CPU fan header. There isn't an optional fan header. I would have liked to have seen one. Um, as far as a power delivery, it is an 8 plus 2 plus 1 all digital power design. And all digital means that your power delivery coming in is all digital and it can be controlled via the BIOS or the software. Um, just makes for cleaner power delivery, especially when you're overclocking. Moving on to the memory slots, there are four memory slots. They support up to 32 gigabytes of DDR3 and speeds up to 2800 megahertz. They are color coded, so you know you know where to put the actual memory if you're doing a dual dual channel setup. Up top, you have a CMOS switch, reset switch, and power button. So I like to see these on the motherboard. It makes things so much easier, especially if you're working outside of a case and you need to you know, power on or restart the system. You have your uh, voltage right here. And what this does is if you have a voltmeter, you can actually monitor your voltages in real time right here, um, you know, right on the motherboard. Moving down, you have a 24 pin ATX power connection and you have your internal USB 3.0 header. Moving down, you do have a SATA power connector for your video card. So if they need that extra juice, some extra power, you can connect the power right there. Moving down, you have two, four, six, eight SATA connections. And the way these work is the white and gray, they are SATA 6 gig and the black are SATA 3 gig. The white and black ones are controlled by the Z77 chipset and the gray ones are controlled by the Marvel controller. Moving down to the bottom of the board, you have a four pin fan connection. You have your debug LED and I love this. You know, if I'm troubleshooting a board and I don't know what's going on, that will post a some type of code and I can look up that code and see where my computer is halting. I have my front panel connections. I have a BIOS switch. This is a dual BIOS motherboard. I can easily switch between my BIOSes with that switch. Another four pin fan connector, one, two, three USB 2.0 headers, a TPM header, another four pin fan connection, and my front panel audio. 
As far as expansion slots go, you have two PCI Express 3.0 X16 slots. You have a single PCI Express 2.0 X16 slot. You have three PCI Express 2.0 X1 slots, and you do have a legacy PCI slot. As far as your ports go on the back of the motherboard, you have your legacy PS2 port. You have two USB 3.0 ports, VGA, DVI, optical audio, you have HDMI as well as DisplayPort. You have four more USB 3.0 ports, two eSATA ports, Ethernet, and of course your audio. So that basically wraps it up for our unboxing and overview video of the Gigabyte Z77X-UD4H. Make sure you check back very soon on thinkcomputers.org as we'll have the full written review. And remember guys, if you like our videos, why don't you subscribe? Catch you guys later.